The nickname of the heavy metal marine biologist, that's not a nickname. I just am. I'm the world's only heavy metal marine biologist, OK? If you know of another one, I need names, I need places, I need dates, because, you know, there can only be one, OK? There can only be one, and you're looking at it. I can confirm that sharks do like heavy metal. They are creatures of impeccable choice. And I can tell this because I am the only person alive ever to play live music to sharks, both here in South Africa and back home in the UK. I became a marine biologist because, like so many marine biologists, when I was very young, I was terrified by a certain famous film featuring a certain famous shark. I have never been bitten by a shark, I've never been close to being bitten by a shark, and I have been right in the midst of a shark mosh pit, physically feeding them fish. And even then, I still didn't even get a nick. Sharks are not interested in humans, and they're certainly not interested in the blowfish. The greatest encounter I have had with a shark was off the coasts of Mozambique in an area of the ocean called the Lazarus Banks where we dived in uh, to do some blue water swimming and we had a really big female tiger shark there. She was investigating us. Uh, she was coming up and having a look at us, seeing what was what and who's who, and that was magic. If I was a species of shark, I'd like to think I would be a wobbegong, and this is a flat shark that has like a long tasseled beard. But I think realistically, I'd probably be a basking shark because they're big, They've got an enormous nose, and they spend their entire time with their mouth open, hoovering food. In my free time, I like to collect action figures. I like to play heavy metal. Uh, I like to listen to heavy metal. I like to game, and I like to watch cricket. A lot of cricket. It is important to study shark behavior because sharks are the top predators in the ocean. They are the the bosses, the landlords, the CEOs of the seas. And if we lose them, if we, if we lose the oceans, we're, we're all in trouble. And being able to study their behavior gives us that first insight into what they're doing or what they're planning to do. So studying shark behavior, even though it's one of the hardest things you can do, it is absolutely vital for our knowledge of sharks and conserving both them and the seas.